Okay, I wanted to talk to you about uh, an option that you can use for citizenship. Most people won't use it because they want citizenship fast, but it is an option you can do. And we have a lot of people that buy for lifestyle. So uh, in other words, they're not buying for citizenship and they're looking, uh, maybe they're, they're still trying to make decisions before they actually commit and buy. And one way to do it is a lease option to purchase. Uh, I've used it before. It's really good. And uh, I mean, I've, I've done it myself personally. Uh, and uh, there's a lot, a lot of advantages to it. There are also some disadvantages, which I'll go over with you. Also, folks, if you want to legally get your income taxes to zero or how to get a second passport as quick as 45 days, do three things. Hit the subscribe button the right of your screen right here, and you get new videos automatically as they come out. And number two is I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, put it below. And number three is go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and just ask for some help. Okay, let me go through some advantages of this lease option purchase. One of the nice things about lease option is if you're buying an older structure, uh, you know, the uh, if you've got a problem with the house that you can't discover, a lease option will pick it up because uh, you can do a lease option to purchase three years out, which means that you basically, it's a rent option to buy. So what happens is you would, uh, uh, you would rent the house with an option to buy in a three year period. And then what happens is the landlord has to sell you the property after three years, even if the properties go through the roof uh, or you can have in there a penalty clause where he can buy you out after on that clause after three years or one year, whatever year period you put for the least option. And then what happens is uh, after that period, if he doesn't want to sell it, maybe because the property values went through the roof. And by the way, too, you don't have to put this penalty clause in there. I'm just saying it's an option. But what, the way it would work is uh, uh, if he wants to doesn't want to sell it because the properties are going through the roof, he can give you back all the rent and the deposit that you paid in over that three-year period if it's a three-year option to purchase, okay? Or you can do this for one year, okay? So it's a way that, uh, uh, that you can literally get all your rent back, okay? Now, uh, and I've seen this happen where the landlords decided maybe after that time period not to sell it because properties went way up. Uh, and then they regretted doing it, but then they looked, hmm, it's, it would be cheaper for me to pay this guy all his rent money back over that three-year period, whatever period you, you select for that, uh, that purchase option, and then, then lose all the upside that that property went up. So these are some things that you can use. Now, and, and one thing that's nice about a lease option to buy is it, it, uh, it actually allows you to go in if there's a problem with the house, uh, obviously the landlord pays for it during that three-year period, okay? Uh, so, and also you're able to find out if there's some major issues with the house before you buy it, okay? I mean, I've seen issues before where there's just, you could have major issues with a house. Now, obviously if it's a new property, you, you're not gonna have to, uh, <clears throat> you're not gonna really have to worry about that if you got a good building contract because uh, you know, everything's all brand new. Uh, obviously, you can have some structural things if, if you have a bad building contract or whatever, but uh, those are some advantages of it. Now, uh, the way it would work too is if the guy doesn't pay the rent, you could also put in the closet, if it goes to court and you win the, the court case, then uh, the, uh, he's gotta pay all your fees and so your legal fees and stuff. If he decides he doesn't want to exercise it and didn't want to pay you back all that rent, so uh, uh, it's not a you know it's not a, a very uh, it, you know it can be a rough process depending on you know how you write the contract up and who you're dealing with and, and dealing with it, but uh, it can solve a lot of issues and you can also use it in negotiation. Uh, in other words, if you make an offer and uh, he doesn't accept it, he comes back with a counter offer. And you say, hey, uh, I'll take that, but only if we do a lease option to purchase, okay? And then you can put out whatever time period you want for that lease option purchased to, to get that done. Now, uh, 
you can do this with citizenship and residency, uh, getting residency in St. Kitts, but it gets a little bit dicey. The way it works is uh, the laws here, you have to get a property that's at least 300000 to get permanent residency. It does not have to be in the citizenship zones. You can buy anywhere you want, but it can't be just a lot or land. It's got to be uh, <coughs> a structure on it. So, and if you do a lease option to purchase, uh, you can obviously rent the house out, but you're not going to get the permanent residency until you buy it, which if you're doing a lease option for one year or three years, whatever it is, that's, that's the time period you're going to have to wait before you get permanent residency for that. And remember in St. Kitts, if you come here and do a rent option uh, to, to, uh, to buy, and you don't have a business here, or you're not working here, uh, you're not married to a petition, uh, and you don't have citizenship, you're coming here just to rent, uh, you're going to have a difficult time coming here, okay? Uh, you got to have a reason to come here, either uh, working, uh, you've got to either be married to somebody from here, or you're going to have to uh, uh, get citizenship, okay? Now, you can do this also with a citizenship property, but uh, you're not going to get the citizenship until you exercise the option. So, uh, and if you're doing a three-year option to purchase, then you're looking three years out before you're going to get the citizenship. Actually, it's going to be longer than that because, uh, uh, you know, getting the property and getting the citizenship, you'd have to apply prior to that three-year period being out to get the time and right for three years because the citizenship is going to have a, a period of time that you're going to have to get, apply and then get that approved. So that, that's how that would work. But it does work. It's a great option to use. Uh, you can do it. If you're wanting a fast track residency or citizenship, I would not advise it. If you're coming to St. Kitts, we have a lot of vet professors that come to St. Kitts for the veterinarian school. They're here for six year stint periods of time. And uh, some of them actually don't, don't fulfill the six year. And a lease option would be really good if you're thinking about buying because then you can uh, not exercise the option and you're doing a rent option to buy after three years. You can do it after six years. Most people are not going to do a lease option after a six year period if you've got a six year stint. But most vet students, most people in, uh, that are vet professors usually know after, you know, before three years are out, they're probably going to be in St. Kitts longer, okay? But it is a way you can come in and and get the uh, property before property values go up and uh, be renting and then uh, get that uh, appreciation after that uh, option period by using this technique. And the, you know, the landlord's obligated to go through with this uh, if you have a good solid contract and you also have uh, a clause where he has to buy out the rent. Worst case, if he comes in and tries to buy you out, then you get all your rent money back. So uh, this is a great way. You'd be surprised how many uh, veterinarian uh, professors that come to St. Kitts uh, that come down here and they, for some reason or not, they don't have their, they don't stay for the whole six year contract period. And that's usually the contract is around six years. So this is a real good option to play uh, if you're, you know, uh, if you don't know exactly where you're gonna be and, uh, but if you're getting citizenship, it's, uh, you will have to put it off to get the citizenship or the residency, the permanent residency, because uh, you, you have to exercise everything and buy the property when that option is exercised. And it, it, it just delays a lot of things. But it's really good if you're going in and you want to know more about the property, you want to spend time in it, and you want to really kick the tires for a long time before you make a decision, this is a great way to go. If you want to know more on this, folks, go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and just ask for some help. And I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, put it below. And again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the right of your screen, and you'll get new videos automatically as they come out. And I look forward to talking to you on the next video. Take care.